We have to trap a coyote. He, he's here, guys. He comes right through here. There he is, son. What is good, Gray Gang? My name's Kendall Gray, and I, I'm from Kentucky, I think. Anyways, we are here. We have to trap a coyote, and maybe I should be a little bit quieter. Or maybe I shouldn't, because I ain't gonna catch him right now. Long story short, in my last video, we set out some trail cameras, a couple different price ranges, just to mess around with the trail cameras. Well, whenever we checked the trail cameras, we got some pictures of coyote, or a coyote, we don't really know. But I'll show you that here in a minute, but we are gonna go ahead and put the memory cards back in this trail camera. But the same day we checked these trail cameras, my mom and dad saw a a coyote in my yard 20 feet from my house chasing my chickens. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I just don't think that's okay. Long story short, if you ain't figured it out yet, we're trapping the sap sucker. Now, since I have two cameras here, that one's gonna be watching this place. Um, I'm gonna take this one and I'm actually gonna put it on the trap because I'm pretty confident we should be able to get this bait boy real soon. Let's head on up here to my defender. Then I actually wanna show you those pictures because they're really detailed pictures, kinda sketchy, and they're also pretty terrifying. Not really, but they are really cool pictures. Here's the first picture. It's not the coyote or anything but it is a big buck well not a big buck but it is a buck and that got me pretty excited but here's the coyote himself this is the picture i got literally like 20 minutes after my mom and dad saw him so he, he's here guys he comes right through here just for a reference here's the trap the cameras are uh, right down there on that tree so it's not far and there's about a 95 percent chance he travels this road every single well time he walks through here and according to these pictures it's been about every day here he is again that one looks young this one looks i don't know maybe young or something he has a rat looking tail so that's one way we can identify this straggler but then we also have this picture which does not look like a young coyote that looks like a stinking alpha dude look how clean his fur is that's a clean coyote this one he looks kind of like a pup and then this one is the one that attacked my chickens. But here's the game plan, guys. We got a couple game plans. If you watched the last video, you kind of already know the game plan. But we're going to reset this trap. This is the same trap where we caught the red fox in a couple videos ago. Then we're actually going to go right down that fence line. What in the world? Did, did, was that a bird? Did a bird just poop? That's, that's very rude. That's very rude. Anyways, we're gonna go up that fence line and set some snares. We figured out in the snow where he's going in and out. We can actually still go check that out before it melts. But then I went to look at my snares and I, do, I don't have any, okay? So we're gonna have to go down to the basement. We're gonna have to build some. And yeah, that's basically what we gotta do. Then we can catch him. I really don't think it's gonna be hard to catch this guy because he's always here. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead, reset this trap that way it can be working. There's a decent chance, honestly, we could catch him tonight. Ow. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna re-dig out my trap. I'm gonna re Reset my trap. I'm gonna rebate my trap. That's about it. Enjoy this extremely Christmassy time lapse. <laughs> pretty well good right there now the final touch add some of this this is just some old bait i've been using i caught the red fox on it i don't have much left i have barely enough for this one set i'm just gonna come in here and try to put it all in the hole and what this is gonna do is keep the coyote in this area long enough to eventually stick his hand in the trap or his foot he don't have hands now since that's good we're done here but we are going to put some lure here just to draw him in in case the bait doesn't catch his attention and for that I'm gonna use this right here. Bought it about eight years ago, and I'm still using it. But I'll come over here, dip this stick in it, that way it'll carry the scent some. That ought to be good. Now there shouldn't be a coyote come past here without checking this out. And the way that we're gonna test that, I'm gonna put the trail camera right over there on one of them fence posts. That way whenever anything comes past this, we're gonna know exactly what its reaction is to my funky looking dirt hole set. And hopefully we'll catch him on camera. We'll catch him being caught on camera. I don't, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's kinda like a pyramid scheme, but it's not, because we're saving chickens. Okay, bye. Okay guys, now we're in my basement. We're gonna attempt to make some snares. I have a few half built, but I don't think I did these perfectly, so I never actually finished them. But this is literally the only two pieces of wire I have, is these two that's unfinished. But basically, here's how you do it. You get you a piece of cable. 
I think of using three 30 seconds cable. Then you want to run this over some metal. Not exactly like this, but something like this where you like rub it. And then it kind of makes its own uh, circle thing. This is like a, I don't know. But this is how the snare goes off. Next what we got to do is get into my snare utensils. That's what my snaring kit building thing looks like. Um, we're going to use one of these. That is an, a nut. Then we're going to use a couple of these. And these are the snare locks. Now we need one of these. And we also need one of these. That right there is pretty much all you need to build a snare plus the wire let's see if i remember how to do this right right and then we run this through yeah we're getting there guys we're doing good yep 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 all right we're we're, pre we're pretty close so there it's not a perfect circle obviously you want a perfect circle but that's all on how you how you bend it and stuff like that this is what it looks like an animal comes through it locks down and this thing right here this piece of metal it actually locks it so it can't come out now snares are actually illegal in some states because they're scary Literally the only reason, and a lot of people don't understand them. I mean, they do kill really good, which is kind of a good thing, but a lot of people actually think it's a bad thing. Just in case, you know, you do get a dog or something, dogs don't actually get hurt in snares that often, especially if it's a decently tame dog, because once the dog goes and gets caught in the snare, he's like, oh, I'm chained up. I'm just going to stand right here. And they won't keep tugging. Wild animals are wild animals. They keep tugging, keeps getting tighter, and they have a really bad day. And then they go see Jesus. Okay, we are back outside. We are looking at fence and we have decided we might set it right here because we can see that something definitely coming through here a lot. But it, we don't think it there because there is bushes up here. That is potential spot. There is another potential spot over here. Right there is another potential spot. Something definitely going under there, but not very often. Then of course we have right here. That is very good spot. But we also have deer jumping over, so may knock down the snare. I do think this one will be our best chance. Okay, so we finally figured out this is what we need. I only got to build one snare because my other ones just, I don't know, they just, they just weren't good enough. But in this particular spot, the snow's actually still kind of deep. But literally over there, it's all gone. It's just here. Now, in the last video, which I filmed earlier today, we found some white hair right there under the fence. Now, the cool thing about this is that, uh, well, one, we know there's a lot of traffic coming through here. We know that it's probably not a deer because there's too much vegetation above the fence where a deer would go. And yeah, I mean, that, that's basically it. Uh, mm, ow. All right, guys, I'm in. It's kind of tough to film this because I'm literally inside of a bush right now. I'm just going to go ahead and hook this up because it's really, really, really hard to show y'all what's going on. All right, I think I got it kind of decent. Here's how I have the snare set up. It's just sitting here on a whammy and then it's connected to the fence and that's what's going to hold the snare in place but this way either way whether they come in this way or they come in this way they should be able to come right there hit their head on it then it should fall on their neck and the rest is up to them so yeah i'm going to go ahead and back out the good thing about snares they're pretty low skill traps meaning it's like there's not really much skill involved as long as you can set it in a good spot you should do okay there's no baits there's no sense there's really just nothing except setting it in a good spot and then you're done we don't have to worry about it freezing over we don't have to worry about it getting dug up the only thing we really got to worry about is maybe it'll fall down every now and again we just drive around we look at it we set it back up a little bit and it's good to go until there's something in it and that's the good thing about snares they're super effective super fast pretty cheap that's pretty much it we'll catch y'all whenever we catch the coyote i have a feeling it won't really be too long we'll catch y'all in a minute well, there he is son there he is yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. It's pretty young. He is a very, very small red fox just uh, chilling out here. We thought we was going to be catching a coyote. That's what we were expecting, you know, because that's what we set out the traps for earlier and got on camera. I caught a red fox a little while ago and a couple videos ago and honestly didn't think there was another one here, but apparently there obviously is. This one's definitely a lot younger. I cannot confirm or deny that this is his boyfriend or girlfriend. But yeah, this is another one. This one's um smaller than the last one. He's just chilling here in this trap, so I know what y'all are thinking. Kennel dude. What are you going to do with him? Are you going to eat him? No. Are you going to skin him? No. Are you going to kill him and throw him over here? No. Are you going to get him taxidermied? No. I'm going to relocate this guy, and here's why. I don't know if y'all got this. I don't know what y'all thought from the last video, if I, like, hate foxes or something, but I don't. I really, 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 really like red fox. Red fox are probably my favorite predator, and I don't just want to kill him for no reason. Like, I don't really want to skin him today. I would if I had to, but there's a better option. We're actually going to try to relocate this guy. Now, there's a lot of problems with relocating if you do it incorrectly. A lot of times, you're just giving someone else your problem. But in this case, the only reason that he is a problem 
problem is because he's eating my chickens and we're going to relocate him somewhere that doesn't have chickens also in that spot it's private land and it's kind of adjacent to this so we're basically moving him from private land here to private land over here we're just moving him away from chickens so no big deal there nothing's gonna be bad so yeah we're gonna try to get this guy live and get him in a cage and relocate him to a place that he'll have a better home because he just can't live here we're not very far from chickens like i can see chickens right now so that tells us he's a little bit too close anyways if you do plan to take him live you got to be extra careful because obviously he could have rabies he could kill me but i do have a catch pole and we're gonna be very careful. I have a cage to put him in. Oftentimes you'll want leather gloves if you wanna reduce the risk of dying. I think I'll be pretty safe. I've done this a couple good times. We'll have to try our best and be very careful. The good thing is that you may be thinking, oh, dude, his leg though, his leg's broke. No, it's not, bro, he's all right. I use the best trap in the game, man. That's why I buy the expensive ones. If I do catch a dog or something I need to relocate, he'll be all right. Rondel the red fox. I don't know, he don't really look like Rondel, does he? Mm -mm. What's he look like? Ralphie. Ralph. Ralphie the Red Fox. Now, this is gonna be the interesting part. He shouldn't squeal or anything, so it's not gonna hurt. It's just gonna get his neck to where he can't bite me. Now, this may take a while because obviously he doesn't know what's happening, so he doesn't want this to happen. Okay, you're going a little aggressive here. That's fine with me. I can go aggressive. You don't know who I am, son. Also, on this special thing I got, whenever I pull up and it pulls back down, it locks. Don't trust that. If you know my old videos from a few years ago, I done that. I thought it locked. The daggum Red Fox jumped away. Play the clip. Yeah. Well, he pulled a trick on me there. Let's try this again. Sometimes you gotta be real slow. Sometimes you just gotta be quick. Got him. Gotcha. All right, calm down. Sometimes you gotta let him know what's up so he'll start breathing hard. Let him know what's happening. Let him know that you win the fight by decisive warfare. Once he realizes he ain't gonna win, he'll calm down a little bit. I'll be able to reach down, get him out of the trap, and then I'll be able to uh, pick him up and put him over here, so. You yeah, all right? Just calm down. Good thing about fox, they don't really have claws. Bobcats, you, I'd be getting wrecked right now. All right, he's gonna try to move some, so. All right, now let me get him. Here you go. I got him, I got him, you're good. He's not passed out, guys. He's obviously still good. But I can do this, because they can go from their necks. Obviously, you don't want to go, but I need him to go, so. Got him in there. We'll release the pressure on the neck, so he's now good. That there is a catch a red fox. Don't try this at home, especially if you don't know exactly what you're doing. His foot over here, let me show you his foot just for all you guys who thinks it's snapped in half and ripped off. It is bleeding. I will give you that. It is bleeding, but the skin is barely broke. He's perfectly fine. By the time we get to this new location, it will have uh, brought all the feeling back. Right now, it's probably numb a little bit. Fox usually aren't really that aggressive. That's one of the reasons why I like them so much is like they're not here to like kill you. He never really tried to attack me. He never growled at all. He never reached out and tried to bite me. He just kind of took it for what it is. And now we're going to be nice to him because we don't want to mount him. We don't want to skin him. We don't want to eat him. We just want to move him away from the problem area. Ralphie Raccoon, I mean Red Fox, has officially, almost officially been relocated. Coyotes are different, guys. Coyotes, they deserve to die. Everything they ever do, they deserve to die. Coyotes kill your cats. Coyotes kill your dogs. Yep. Coyotes kill your kid. Foxes really don't care. They're nice. They're pretty. That's really the only thing they got. They're just pretty and don't kill your dog. But yeah, let's go. Just go take him out of here. Like, not, not out of the world. Just out of this area okay bye all righty guys we are in the new location this is where he's going okay big nice forest there's some like brush over there somewhere so he's got all the kinds of stuff we need we literally just drove up on some turkeys so don't worry about that he'll find food deep there now there is coyotes here which coyotes sometimes kill foxes but we also have coyotes home so basically this guy's just going to find a new bush to sleep in that's pretty much the only thing that's changing we're still in kentucky so everything's still the same we're gonna go ahead and release him we'll see how it goes most likely probably not going to try to kill me there's always a chance all right there you go buddy so long buster i mean ralph Oh, that's cool. Going right where the turkeys are. Goodbye, Ralph. Don't you tell me that he hurt his legs in the comment. That dude just barred out here. Woo, woo, woo. He gone, son. He gone. But yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty pretty much it for this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. If you like trapping stuff, that's a pretty good place to subscribe to because we got plenty of that. If you want to buy some of my merch like this t-shirt right here or a KG pocket knife, you can get them up kennelgrade1.com slash shop first link in the description. Click right over here if you want to watch another video where we caught a red fox or click right over here where, uh, I don't know, our entire predator trapping playlist. <laughs> Okay, bye.